Welcome to the Joyish Kingdom episode, I'm not sure, of Tea Time with Tom in the Joyish Kingdom. We are actually in New York City right now, and we have a sponsored episode today by Ojo de Dios NFT slash alcohol. And so, let's take a swig, gentlemen. This is supposed to be served with ice, but we didn't have ice, so we're going to drink these room temperature. So Ojo de Dios are the first, they are an award-winning Mezcal brand. They are one of the fastest growing drinks brands on the planet at the moment. They're launching a project called Odd Squad, an NFT project all around um, just super cool Mezcal lore. There's a lot of, a lot of fantastic art elements to it. Uh, very excited to be advising for them. I've been advising, advising them for the last like six months. So there's been a long project in the making. This is not a uh, fast project to get out there. So very excited to be here with the guys. This is the first time with all of the NFT YouTubers together. We've got Andres in the background. We've got Bento Boy in the background. We've got Nikki G, Cade Bergman, Zerk, and the best looking guy in crypto. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so I'm sat right here. Whoa. Gavin. <laughs> awesome. Okay, yeah, so. uh, tell me about your trip today because you had a pretty, a pretty rough ride. Actually, first let's drink, guys. So cheers. Yeah, go ahead, take that drink cheers, back. everyone. Cheers. 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 It's funny How'd it taste, boys? Oh, lovely. Huh? That's yeah, yes. good, not bad, no? not bad. That's pretty good. All right, all right. I'm not Fantastic. a big mezcal drinker, but uh, it goes down the street. <laughs> yeah, no, so I, I flew in from Seattle this morning. I didn't sleep last night. I flew in, like, last night and flew overnight, basically. Got here, felt like shit, got car sick, cabs, you know, it was the whole thing. I threw up out the window. It was, it was sucked. The taxi driver was super cool, though. You know, he, he was very polite, even though I literally was hurling outside his fucking window. I stood up. I wish Devin had got video. I thought he was going to get video this when I did it. Because right when I stood up, I was like, okay, this is going to get clipped. So I stood up all the way, stuck my whole torso out the fucking window, and I'm throwing up. And this is in the middle of, of New York, by the way. This is in the middle of the city now. We're, we're like off the highway. We're in the city. There's tourists everywhere. There's people. There's fucking vendors. And I'm puking in the middle of the fucking road. And the thing is, we were on two-lane traffic, but we were on the left side. So I'm puking on, on, on oncoming traffic like this. Oh, nice. So it was brutal. It was brutal. Um, and we finally fucking got there. I laid on the sidewalk for a little bit. And then went straight to fucking meet you guys, and it's been lit, dude. We went and got food, terrorized a fucking waitress, and but you know, and then Nikki G, bro, Nikki G and Bridge Three came through, came through and uh, did us all a favor. So yeah, so shout out to Nikki G and Bridge Three. So we we ended up having about twenty NFT YouTubers in a restaurant just out of nowhere. Like all of us just ch just turned up. It was just one after another. We had everyone, um, and uh, yeah, shout out to Nikki G, Bridge Three, um, who covered covered that meal for us. It was an exceptional meal, wasn't it? Uh, you even uh, could have been, been better. Could have been better. <laughs> Nikki, been G, better. Nikki G, tell us about your time here. What are your plans? What are you yeah. looking forward to? What are you What are you doing today, by the way? What have you got planned today? Yeah, sure. Um, so far, the trip has been awesome. Uh, meeting everybody in person uh, that you work with, you know, for months and months. Just like talking to people online is a different dynamic when you meet them in person. So it's been really rewarding to kind of meet all the guys in person, get a better connection with everybody, and really, um, you know, enjoy the time together. You know, there's a lot of events going on. Uh, a lot of projects here showing up, a lot of companies showing up. Uh, it's something I've been very interested in showing up to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro. A mouse. <laughs> is that the actual, that's not the actual mouse. That's uh, me doing this. This Yo, is the Italian. Like, five you bucks know, says Nikki's not even in the fucking shot. Like, no, I am. No, I think he is, he is, he is, he is. I saw it. Okay. All, right. All right, cut. 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 Uh, um, <laughs> I didn't try it. I'm gonna stop shaking it around like an Italian. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's how you're. Yeah. It's just the. I know. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I just wanna check the mic was oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Um, so yeah, here to meet a lot of companies. <laughs> For you guys especially, you know, like hooking up you guys uh, with with some real companies, some real sponsors. You know what we're talking about. And uh, Ape Fest tonight. I think it's gonna be a, a riot, hopefully, and uh, hopefully it doesn't end early. Um, <laughs> And yeah, meeting up with all the guys and just uh, getting the party on. Explain Bridge Three, like uh, you the, work with most of us, right? Yeah, so uh, Bridge Three, in the simplest form, is the uh, is a full service uh, influencer marketing agency. We help projects uh, get the audience that they need, the demographics that they need, and then we help influencers connect with uh, sponsors and you know other projects for their own communities, right? So, in the simplest form, it's that you know basically facilitating for everybody and trying to help everybody else out. Yeah. Everyone but me. Soon. Not yet. Soon to be. Soon to be signed. Let's hear from uh, Let's hear from Gavin over here. Blockchain yeah, Gavin. Right, Hello everyone. My name is Blockchain Gavin. We're sit here, sat here in Central Park, in New York City, 
meeting the boys for the first time. It's been awesome. Great to meet these guys. Um, we're just vibing, talking. Hopefully we talk about some interesting stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, getting a little bit lit. Some Oyo de Dios. Ojo de Dios, yeah. All right, Shark, what you got, bro? Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for joining us. This is your second appearance. This is my second appearance. Probably one of, hopefully, the better time that I've had with these guys because it is a shambles working with them behind the scenes. Um, you know, known some of these guys for a while now, over six months. Met them online, and you get to see them in person, and you get to, uh, you know, remove the keyboard warrior and actually face them. So it's actually very, very fun. You're, you the mic. You are the most, um, you're the most aggressive guy in NFT YouTube, aren't you? Is that true? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Can we swear? Yeah, we can swear. Yeah. You swear. Okay. You swore last time. Yeah, well, I asked as well. We're, we're English. We're polite. You know, I do have to ask these things. Yeah, exactly. I'm, I apologize for drinking your drink, even. You know, I'm, I'm sorry for everything. But uh, yeah, glad to be here. Let's fucking go. Enjoying ourselves. Well, I mean, we're, we're in NFT NYC. We haven't, I haven't been to anything in NFT NYC. We're filming this on day one for me, so I haven't gone to anything. What I've heard is everything blows. Everything <laughs> yeah, blows yeah. like yeah. big time dick. And so yeah, I'm glad I didn't buy it. That. So apparently, all, it's all just a bunch of panels, people who don't really care about and it's just that dude it's just there's a bunch of people who are doing panels and people show up and realize they shouldn't have spent nine hundred dollars on a ticket and so I'm okay with not being here. I mean I only came just to meet like TikTokers and YouTubers that I have met and like connected with and done lives with and stuff. That's really the only thing that I'm doing. Um, I'm also trying to <laughs> just walk straight onto the podcast. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Um, but uh, where was I going with that? Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Um, are you, uh, which what, what projects are you looking forward to like checking out? And any like parties or Goblin no, I'm just kidding. Goblin. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to meet Frankie with Subducks, and then um, hopefully I can meet the Goons guys. But that's pretty much it, you know. Like, nice. uh, what are we doing this off this evening? We're gonna meet. We're gonna meet Matt from Hate. You yep. know, meet meet Matt maybe. Hopefully, I feel like it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get there and he's gonna be swarmed by other people. So I don't think I'm gonna get to actually meet him. But we're gonna see what happens at Hate, and then we're gonna go to um, a dinner I think with some TikToker people, some of our friends, and then. I think we're gonna let Zerk and Tom plan the after parties after that because I'm not I'm not big on planning that stuff. I kind of just Nikki. show up with stuff like that. Nikki's Nikki? the man. Nikki, Nikki no, really you, you got the moves tonight? Do you actually know the moves? I know uh, a good amount of parties that are happening tonight, so we can uh, we'll, we'll network around. We'll get there. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Done, done, done. That's pretty much it. I mean, I have to say that's, that's all I really know. I mean, I know there's some drama going on with NFTs, but it doesn't really look like it's affected anyone's spirits. I don't think anyone really gives a fuck. Oh, you should see my I hotel think, room. It's fucking affected. Oh, man. Yeah. No, oh, I think generally, sh- generally, I think the vibe of like. Not the the conference, the vibe of the people getting together and everybody kind of being here in person is rallying NFTs right now. If you checked it out sure. in the last like 24 hours, we're kind of all green in the NFT space right now. So like it's it's quite interesting to see it because maybe it's the communities like seeing people in person, getting out of our basements, getting out of our houses, <laughs> and actually doing stuff. It kind of like rallied everybody's hopes. Yeah. Even though we're down there right now, yeah. we're in, we're in the Goblin Town. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're in Goblin Town right now, um, we're rallying in the last 24. Shit, so I think the 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 conference or the uh, event is really bringing people's spirits up. Yeah, we're a total bull run back on. It's time to sell, baby. Shit. Time to fucking sell. Let's, Let's go. Let's get, Let's get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking... Yeah, what are the moves right now? What are y'all doing? What's, what's the NFT? The actual NFT moves? Y'all making any? Ah, uh, see, yeah, no. Do not follow me. Worst trades in the entire industry. I probably lost more money than most people do in their lifetime. It's really fun. Uh, my girlfriend's close to breaking up with me. We're about to lose the house. <laughs> We're chilling though, we're drinking, getting fucked up in Central Park. I actually live here now, so you know, I've got a tree down there, you know, we're very down bad. But um, yeah, that, no, that's not my tent. Man, I don't have a tent, I wish I did. I've got like some old newspapers, but let's hear from Gavin, he's better than I am. I'm just sitting on my hands, waiting for the market to keep going down so I can buy back in. You buy back in? So all you paper hands can sell to me. <laughs> That is, the thing is, though, like, so Gavin, Gavin, Gavin is, Gavin is probably one of the only people in NFTs who is like always up, like consistently up, smashed it. Yeah. Uh, he's because he's well, you come from a trading background, right? Exactly. Yeah. So he he actually knows how to buy low and sell high. No, as, uh, we'll yeah. Sell as opposed to as opposed to NFT Zerk, who is yeah. no <laughs> renowned as the has having the biggest losses yeah. in uh, in NFTs. Oh, it's yeah. actually the one wallet that people track. Yeah. Just to kind of opposite his trade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Even Aoki is a better trader. Yeah. Than yeah. Oh, Zerk, Zerk is actually the one guy in NFTs where people track his wallet to see what not to buy at a certain time. <laughs> so it's actually a thing. I swear. His Discord, my Discord, they're like, yeah, Zerk just bought into Pixin. All right, we're out. <laughs> literally, literally. Like, it's real bad. Like, uh, 
Me and the girlfriend had a nice trip. We was going like travel South America this year, and we're definitely not doing that now. We're staying in London, yeah, you know. Yeah. For real? Yeah, they're they're pretty bad. Sure. Yeah, it's fucked. My girlfriend was going to quit her job. We was like, yeah, let's go full in oh. NFTs. No, I'm, I'm not down that bad. You know, we've still got some reserves, but uh, I tell her this because yeah, I don't have to buy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, I'm struggling hard Yo, with. Well, what are your, what are your thoughts though on, on the Boy Yacht Club? Controversy about being Nazis. Oh, come on. Holder? He's, I think, holder? So he, he's got the board ape. I've got the mutant. Personally, I think it's a load of crap. Like, you're just clutching at straws here. I don't see why someone would make a board ape NFT project if they wanted to drive the idea of being a Nazi. Surely there's more active things you can do than doing that. It's just pointless. Personally, that's what I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like Nicky will say it. Like, he's watched the video, but everyone's clutching on being like, Point eight 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 is like a sign of being a Nazi and this sort of stuff. It's like what? Like yeah, yeah. yeah there's some interesting things. So I read through the Rider Rips uh, thread, right? And I watched the video by Phil Lyon. Um, it was an hour and like eight minutes. I watched the whole thing. I read through the thread, and it like you can make anything sound like it's connected to something else, right? And these guys definitely spend a lot of time trying to connect the dots to everything that is Nazi or like you know anything like that or white power and they definitely I was convinced for a couple parts there's a couple parts where I'm like that's ironic you know, like you yeah. know like that could make sense but it's also things like on the uh, inmate trait the shirt it says 019087 and if they're like if you take out both yeah, zeros yeah, yeah. it's 1987 and in 1987 there was a Nazi who went to jail it's like oh yeah and then yeah, yeah, yeah. the 88 yeah, there's yeah. three numbers it's like 88 18 and 14 and the board apes have all three numbers in there and they're all related to Nazis it was like yeah yeah I mean no I think the the documentary had some has a lot of weird interesting ironic stuff in there there's a lot a lot, a lot of holes kind of like you said there it, they almost hurt the the whole of the documentary because the documentary was is staged in a way where it's meant to be persuasive which is very obvious once you start when you start watching it's very persuasive to say hey this is what they're doing this is what they're about this sucks kind of thing and so I definitely picked up on that vibe. And then when he started to push the other project toward the end, that's what people were really mad about. I didn't yeah. really we'll see that that much. I didn't really care. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I definitely think there was some weird shit. Like when he's yeah. at the 88, the, the 88 one was weird because he was like, what was it? A lot of people sell for 888 or 80. And I was like, what? Like every, like <laughs> that was also, about, yeah. Because yeah. Like one of the things he pointed out was like yeah. ape number 6969 has the inmate jersey. And that's a meme in meme culture. Yeah. 69, and then he's wearing the inmate thing because the guy went to jail. Yeah. It's like eight is the, uh, the eighth letter in the alphabet is H, so 88 is Hail Hitler. Yeah. It's like, oh, that may, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. For, for, sure. for me, it was, was kind of like the, the Facebook, there's like a Facebook and social media documentary that came out, and it was basically just say, like, hey, here's how much so much social media is fucking you up. But they had to, you have to go so extreme for people to see that side. Like, if he hadn't made a documentary that was so against Board of Yacht Club, I don't think people would have taken it seriously. And I think what's really going to happen is they're going to take that and be like, okay, that was an extreme example. Let's see, like, what actually there was real value here, and then it's just, like, throw the rest of the shit away. I think that's what's really going to happen. Yeah. What are your thoughts? So, well, I mean, uh, to, so I don't know if, like, I'll get your get your opinion on this, but uh, the, the, to be honest, the first thing that got me was the, like, the uh, the logo. Like, the, I mean, it's the first thing they point out. Yeah. Uh, do you guys know, have any context on that? Because the way I looked at it, I was like, yeah, it kind of does yeah, fucking look like it. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, but it's like an easy logo to make. It's like a template, right? You, skull and there's so many people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crossbone, right? Like, biker gangs have skull and crossbone. Yeah. Did, did they pick up on, like, the commie hat as well? Was that mentioned? Because yeah. I haven't actually, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, let, let me just tell you, right? Every fucking lazy artist is gonna like pick up and Google different hats. And I guarantee, if you type on Google right now, hat, like the commie hat comes up. So everyone's doing like the Viking helmet. Everyone's doing the pirate hat. Everyone's doing the fucking commie hat. Like, yeah. it's just lazy artists. Don't don't call them Nazis for it. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> Relax. One thing that like kind of got me. You're gonna ruin their Fiverr career. <laughs> so like the <laughs> the Fiverr career. The one thing that actually got me though was like the attention to detail. Right, so like on one of the kamikaze hats, the Japanese kamikaze hats or something like that, yeah. uh, the fighter pilot hat, there is a, they were saying back in the day when these Japanese uh, fighter pilots flew the planes, they put an ace of spades or something in their helmet, right? Mm. Yeah. And on the helmets for the bored apes, there's a, there's a jack of spades, right? It's not an ace of spades, it's a jack of spades, which I found like very interesting, like cause that's a very small detail mm. and you really have to look at it to notice it. But at the same time, it could be like they're really trying to get the, <laughs> the vibe of the hat, <laughs> <Yeah>. maybe. <laughs> like they're like, oh, it's not real unless it has That's the card really in it, right? Things, right? Like, no, it's yeah. just Japanese fighter pilot helmet, yeah. right? Yeah. So, True. I mean, True. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. 
for who don't know also there's a, a full yoga class going on over this distracting me a little bit i don't know what's that you see that shit Andres, like did like he actually? Just standing there until they interviewed him. Yeah, there's, there's a whole lot of stuff happening. You guys, none of none, none of the viewers who are watching this can see it, but there's an entire interview happening over here with Andres's team and Bento over there. Yeah. And then there's some kind of some kind of there's there's a Yuga Labs there's a Yuga Labs Colt stretching session happening over there. Get him a drink. Get him a cup. Everyone over there is a Bordy Yacht Club holder stretching, and they're all doing their they're bowing down to the Nazis, I think. <laughs> what's happening over there? Oh, yeah. Get him a cup. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, get, uh, we'll get Bento's opinion on NFT NYC. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I have zero clue what these guys are talking about. <laughs> I have never seen this documentary. I don't know what you Oh, really? Yeah, it just came out. Okay. So I have no opinions. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's add, Do you let's, let's, know anything about this Board Ape Yacht Club conspiracy theory against uh, Nazis? He's new to no. Oh, 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 the uh, the logo, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, the whole documentary, dude. Oh, really? I haven't seen it. I don't, I'm lost here. Oh no, I did not. Yeah, I guess. I guess we're busy building. Dude, I, was, I traveled. We, I just got in. We just got in, so didn't get the chance. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think uh, we went to two events: the CyberCongs one, and then the on-chain TV. So. Yeah. Uh, that was good. Uh, met a lot of people, a uh, lot, lot of YouTubers too. What about you guys? Yeah, man. Hotel, we got 8 Fest today. <laughs> but the, the lineup oh, for 8 yeah. Fest is pretty what? bad. Did you see it? Yesterday it was like Questlove, the guys from uh, Jimmy Fallon. I saw people on uh, Twitter hating because uh, Amy Schumer was like the main event, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I thought, I thought it was a joke, but apparently it was real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, yeah, that's what we talked about earlier. Yeah, but like, you know, they made so much from the other side. How can they not just afford Posty for like two hours? So 8 yeah. Point's going down, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And we're all holding it. Yeah. Shit. Did you know? Did you hear about how much they lost because of how much Ape Coin was locked up? No. Oh fuck. Yeah, here, hold on. So yeah, yeah. Yuga yeah. Labs from the sale of other side, they locked up uh, all the all the Ape Coin that they got from the sale was locked up for one year, right? The value of Ape Coin at the time of the sale was like twenty four dollars or twenty six dollars, and I th I can't remember the number, but it was in the hundreds of millions. That was locked up at the time, and the current value on books. So they owe. Uh, what was it like? I don't know, 75 million in taxes yeah. on that sale. Yes. But the value of the ape coin now, after the locked up, it's at like $3.96. They're actually down 110 million because of it. Yeah, so they owe so much on taxes and ape coin lost so much value that they actually owe way more than they actually made from it. So, fuck. Fun fact. Fuck. Have you seen Michael Saylor's Bitcoin position? Oh my! He's, like, he's done like one point one point five bill in unrealized profit, um, unrealized Yikes, losses. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah, it's so nuts. everyone's losing all their money. Mm. Everyone's losing all their money. But let, let's talk about something that's not money Sounds related. Something positive, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, Brand. What are you, Brand? What are you doing in Hawaii out there? What, what's Hawaii? the move out there? What are you doing? Yeah. Um. Well, most of the days I just uh, you know spend as as I assume you guys just mainly on my computer. But uh, <laughs> uh, on my free time, I like to uh, you know go hike and go to the beach, and I actually body surf. Uh, typically on the weekends, yeah. So if you guys want to come out, uh, we're at Oahu. Let's fucking go. Yeah. yeah. We need a meetup. We need a meetup. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, it's a bear, bear market, so you get a little bit uh, more free time now, right? So. Yeah. Have you met anyone in Hawaii who does NFTs or anything about it? No, uh, very rare. Uh, I think I, I met one guy at like uh, an event or, or like a party, um, but that's about it. No one in Hawaii really does uh, NFTs. Not that I know about. Am I the only person that doesn't? I don't leave my basement. No, no, you don't, you don't <laughs> get invited. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go, but you just can't. Right, right. Yeah. Who are you? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing when you're not degening? Anything? Nah. What am I doing when I'm not degening? When is there not a time to degen? That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So you're half degening even when you're not degening. This is why he's always up. He's like, degening right now. why he yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm always up because I mean, I'm, I'm never. I'm probably editing more than I'm degening. Yeah, fair enough. Exactly. There's always something to do. Yeah, I'm pretty much just editing. I don't think I do anything that's that interesting, to be honest. Build, degen, make podcasts with the boys. Yeah, right. oh, man. the way Sick. it should be. How about you, Tom? Um, wait, what about, so I'm, you do you, about? okay, well, Kate, what do you, what do you think out of what you know about me? What do you think I get up to in my, in my free time? Um, I don't, I don't think you have much free time that you, or I think you have, I think you should probably fill it up with something else. Like, I mean, now we have the businesses, so I feel like you're probably working on the business and like filling it with stuff like that. But if you didn't have that, I imagine you'd probably just, if you weren't doing business stuff, you'd probably just be scripting more stuff for YouTube to like lighten your load in other yeah. areas. Because I, I find myself doing that a lot, even if I have free time. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think it's, 
I, the, the truth is we're all like we're all just busy right we're just busy busy as hell yeah. Oh, yeah it takes it takes so long for me to shave this in the mornings <laughs> it takes so long um but yeah i mean i had this from it's okay money the other day it was like dude i think you have the strongest mustache in crypto um and i was like do you know what i'm gonna take that from you let me be in. K money. K money, yeah. Oh, damn, yeah. 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 He's the real crypto stash. Yeah. The real crypto. Like K money, I'm calling you out on that. Thank you, man. You made you made my year. Um, but yeah, outside of, like, I think all of us are just busy, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah we're all, we're all just like trying I to. Waste a lot of time. Yeah, I've got. <laughs> I think Kate, Kate, Kate is a weird one though. Kate, Kate's saying he wastes a lot of time, but we all of us are looking at him, being like, he is the most productive motherfucker in so all of half NFTs. Productive, dude. Like, half productive. Stuff, like it all, it kind of is work. But it's really probably not. It doesn't feel like know? work. That's the nice thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's it okay. doesn't feel like work. You guys, probably, you guys feel like that? Or you guys actually yeah. get like down from it? No, uh-huh. we like it. We like, yeah. we, we like it. It feels like I'm playing a game. Like, no, it's, yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like, yeah. depending it's, on what it is exactly, but. It feels like, it's like one of those things where you have that hobby that you love and you turn it into work. Yeah. But now it doesn't ever feel like work because you're enjoying, like, you never really know that. Like, a lot of you guys probably had jobs before this. Like, you actually enjoy what you're doing. Yeah, Bento. Yeah. <laughs> you actually enjoy enjoy what you're doing. Before, so. Yeah. yeah. Get out of here. Never. Yeah. Never. No. So. Wow. What yeah. the? Wow. Fuck? You had a great great start then. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I hope yeah. you never yeah. have to work yeah. another job in your life. Motherfucker. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, not the way the market is right now. <laughs> no. No. We're hurting. Hey. Let's go. Let's get him in the house. Yeah, boys. Yo, Anders, what have you been doing over there, bro? Uh, we were doing some interviews. This is a really cool mic. This is a road. Wow. Yeah, Road's coming out with some great technology. So Intr- what... Introduce to the team who you are because you're not an unfamiliar well, he's face. He's, you're not an unfamiliar face on Tea yeah. Time. I know he's been on Tea Time, but remind the fans who we are, what you're doing out here, right? My name is Andre Salinas. I am an NFT influencer as everybody else around me. And what we're doing out here, just hanging out at NFT NYC. I'm working out here as well with Bento Boy, who's to the right of me, working for WGMI or a brand new media company. You know, we're just here to give you the, everything up to date with NFTs and cryptocurrency. We're just we're just plugging, not chilling whatsoever. But yeah, we're just here having a good time. It's been incredible. A lot of these people behind me, to the left and right of me, we've been talking for months, if not almost a year now. So it's just an incredible opportunity. A lot of us aren't even from here. So I'm from LA. We got London, we got Hawaii, and I can't say it for everybody else around me, but every, we're, we're all worldwide, literally. So it's just, we're a small group of people that really care about this innovative technology, and we're just here to spread love, share our thoughts, and see how we can make this space a better place. We'll see. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel, I, we're gonna fit. We're gonna fit. Can you take a drink? Of course. Let's take. Let's take a shot. Uh, would you like the cafe? The cafe? No. no. Andres, what's, the the alpha, man? No. what's the alpha? The alpha right now. The alpha right now is definitely uh, just be kind. Uh, be really just care about other people and just be willing to learn. Uh, one of the things that I think I love about this group of people behind me and to the left and right, like I said, is that we're all open-minded. You know what I mean? This is so new. This is literally just like the beginning of the internet. Again, it's all over. And it feels like it's social media starting all over again. So it's really cool because the amount of people that are accessible right now is unbelievable. And the other thing is the amount of power that's coming into the space. It's almost like this is an inevitable force. There's literally people that have so much power and there's a lot of money coming in and the con- big conglomerates that are coming in. It's almost inevitable for NFTs and cryptocurrency at this point to succeed. Yo, uh, what have the people been like in New York City besides uh, versus LA? Uh, the people out here in New York City, they're they're a little smelly. <laughs> <laughs> out in LA, no, they're 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 a little kooky, but uh, every no matter no matter where we go, we're gonna find really great people, and there's been incredible events thus far. I'm just looking forward to meeting more and more people. Nice brother. Okay, well let's 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 uh let's finish this up on a cheers. We're gonna thank you to uh, Ojo de Dios who is sponsoring Sponsor, this baby. this tea time with Tom and the rest of the NFT YouTube crew. So uh, yeah, incredible. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. We, we, we could we can end this. We're gonna finish after, this after on. Shot and then one, we're gonna finish okay. it. We're gonna finish it with your your ending, man, because this is how we end it. But yeah, cheers, cheers, cheers. guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yes, yes, <laughs> All right. Well, I was gonna end it like after one thing. Since we have all these people here, it'd be fun because we can clip this later. Uh, everyone, to leave your legacy real quick. Give your 30-second legacy that you're trying to do. If you have one, you might not. You might just be making videos for no reason. Um, who wants to start? <laughs> you want to start? Okay. Down. 
All right, 30 second legacy. Um, Honestly, probably just to help as many people as possible. You know, right now it's in the, uh, the NFT space, but uh, hopefully one day, uh, it sounds kind of corny, I hope to be uh, it's kind of like Mr. Beast and uh, give out some money and help uh, people along their journey. Are you trying to do that kind of content? <laughs> yeah, eventually, eventually, but we'll see. As of right now, we're uh, focusing on NFTs. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I'd say my, my legacy is to help people make more money, turn losing positions into winning positions, and spread the profits. Fire. Decent. Yeah, I'm uh, also here for that. Also here to uh, make sure I don't have to live in Central Park anymore. You know, I'm here to make some money, but here to meet good guys and find good connections. And you know, at the end of the day, if you find something that you really enjoy and you really love, like I'm an old man, I'm 27, so you know, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've got to show you. Oh, <laughs> no, I've got a mic in here. She slapped me, but uh, yeah. So you know, I've worked these jobs. I didn't like them. I got uh, you know something I love now, and I put all my time and energy into it, and. I'm happy. So yeah, find something you love, enjoy yeah. the friends around you, and uh, enjoy this mess school. You stick with the NFTs? No, nah. <laughs> no, I love it. I love NFTs, of course. Like the technology that's there and the like, the foundation of the actual blockchain. Yeah, yeah? that's what's big. Like, okay. This NFT stuff is the profile photo stuff is you know what's happening now. But for sure, in two, three years' time, everyone's going to be into NFTs. Yeah. So we're the pioneers. We're sat on this rock in Central Park, coming to you, bringing it here. Fuck yeah. Done. yeah. After Zerk's five minute legacy. <laughs> um, no, yeah, similar to all these guys, I want to make life a little bit easier. I'm, I'm stepping a little bit outside of what they're doing. These guys are direct to the communities, direct to the people. They're making everybody's lives a lot better, a lot easier in the space. These guys really put the hours in. Um, and what I want to do, my legacy, is just help these guys be successful, like bring them things, take things off their plate and try and help other people like these guys be successful so that they can pass it forward to their communities to the people that they touch directly through their videos through their communities and uh that's that's what i want to do Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah tom bro what you got so um like as 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 some of you guys will know uh, if you watch my videos like i always end it on one saying the summit is infinite and we're just here to help each other climb and Everything that I do is always, always has been and always will be about helping other people just get the most out of their life and their talent um, and really pushing them to, uh, yeah, to the, to the extreme of what they're capable of. Um, and I really love that I feel like I've found a group of people who are all doing that. Like we're sat on this rock, all of us here, we are people, we're people, people who are just pushing ourselves right to the limit, right? And um, yeah, I love that. So that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Lovely to be here. If I had to say what my legacy would or want it to be, I just want it to be that I did good. I did. I want to go to the grave and the people that love me say that he actually did what he wanted to do in life and he didn't do what everybody told him to do. Nice, man. Oh, shit right there. Let's <laughs> right fucking there. go. Yeah, and you already know, Joy's Kingdom is about rolling the dice on yourself, taking chances. That's pretty much it. Rolling the dice yourself, taking chances, seeing what happens, believing in yourself, building that self-esteem through doing shit and not making excuses. So. Uh, yeah, thank you all for being here for Tea Time. This was fucking epic. Oh, First yeah, episode of like a really impersonal. We'll probably get another one. I assume I'm gonna do NFT L, uh, NFT Seattle. That might be the last NFT event. Is there any other big events happening? Do you guys sure, know? Sure, there's one in London soon. Is there one in London? <laughs> nah, it must be soon. There's, London? there's London in November. Oh, okay, Shit. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Fire, fire, sweet guys. All right, well everyone, thanks for being here. Until next time, continue on your joys, continue to learn. We're grateful you're live watching the video. Bye.